and we're back. we do. Delphi. Let's see what Esbern uh, has to say. I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Let's see what Esbern has to say. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball. Indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Um... Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple, constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldwin's Hall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore, a hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldwin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldwin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Aldwin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Aldwin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all the new of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. Its location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The blades' archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. 
So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karthspire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karthspire. Good luck. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and Please, someone do something! Everyone, inside, now! Here we go. It's like the ancient legends. Dragon Ball. There was a fight down in the Ratway, but reports are sketchy. Some say it was Calmeraging, others. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, never seen the okay, Lot. Ready to make some coin. Really Good. Wait until I start the distraction. 
Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands... ...retention. This way I'll I'll you that's your awesome, friend. This way, everyone. Over here. <laughs> no pushing, no shoving. Come on, bring it off. Room. What is it this time? Patience, Branchet. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed Nurm root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. And magic. But that course through their veins. How did you get that there? No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection. But I can promise you that the contents are genuine. One sip. The elixir and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth, everlasting life, or perhaps limitless power could be yours. How much? Stay away from that. Only 20 gold septums. Hurry, before my supply is gone. This is ridiculous. Who knows what powers the elixir will unlock? This is just what I need right now. Don't listen to him, he's making this up. Thanks, hurry. And... Off. That... This essence oh, didn't what help. clever thief you Maybe are. this will. If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty good... Everything I've got on display, really. Keep your eyes to the road. Huh? Seen and free from rock. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Fancy yourself what is it, the adventure. Fifa? What's the matter? Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right, then. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riftum. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you... Yeah. My organization's been happy, but never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think Hello, you can Bowling. handle it. How's the fish?
Never should have come here. <laughs> Those days are over. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite... So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about the OR organizing? I want you to explain to them the error. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand. Do this right. And I can promise you a permanent place in... Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more, in... a word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the Bee and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Well, you'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Can I interest you in anything today? What? what? Oh, so Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going... You demand payment for protection. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you... Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm... Don't do that! Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! Oh my word. No! 
All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold, and leave me in peace. And what are you studying now? Careful with that fire! What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too... I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a... Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as ex... Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you... Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Here, f***s, you want something or not? No, and I never will. Now get out of my... How could... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Now what did you want? I already paid you. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. I know who you are. You Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Better have coin to pay for your drink. So, job's and done and you even here. brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The tail... I think you'll do more than just fit in. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. 
After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to you listen to what Mercer has to say. Wait a moment. They're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow is... We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing up the catch. Is that you? That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing up. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather. But they're one week. Besides. Nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge co- I'll give you one good reason. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye- If the workers had a dispute? In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge- Let me put it- Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it... Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our... So we send in Vex, and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to... Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortify... In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go.
Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Now you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers, but I think you and I are gonna get along. Now it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of... If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his track. I think there were 24 in all. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one will tell you what. If you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. <laughs> yeah, I did. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the north. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tenelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need. Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had... And when the coin dried up, that... we had the best of everything down here. The, re the only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start... The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. I handle the burglary. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before... The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives... You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Fine. Here's everything you need to know. So, got more than you can handle. If you want to get paid, keep your weapon sh... Well, you done or what? If you want to get paid, keep your weapon sheathed. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us.
have a chance to bite or to flee. Show me what you got. That's it. That's all you got.
This lock will be the end of you. It's here. Let's take I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. I don't believe you. That's not your way. Give it your best shot.
There. Go. Damn you. That's your best, huh? That's the best you can do. Time to end this little thing. What was that? Where are you? Like the bite of a flea.
Ah, oh, you made it. Good to see you, my friend. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any I blast. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social. That's between you and... Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually... <laughs> of course. Your pet Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Hey, you're making waves around here. I like that. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. Say something. Pull up a chair, my friend. This. When I started out in this business, I wasn't. I didn't mean to impl. With my lock picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreak. It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of. Usually, it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to. Either way, the trick was in the escape. And that's where my. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I, the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned. After that, I promised myself a... I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would... Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. This better be important. I'm quite busy. Just let me know. Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? Better be important, I'm quite busy. Want to talk? Look, if I was a... Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really... Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh, how about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. I hope we bump into each other again. Got a minute? Wanted to say hey, something. How's it going? Need pickpocket training? Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you.
That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. some thieves guild stuff if you've got the coin you've come to the right place pull up a seat looking for work I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar looking for work I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar ah well I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying frog I paid Sib. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him. You'll be well paid for your time. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. He's a. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. I look better than you do. You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over there. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care I'll about is cause and town. effect. Did the job get done, and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. <clears throat> the Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry.
knowledge test. Long life to you, Thane. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Can't a man drink in... I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot... Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the... The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison? and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it in. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get... Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good.
What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the... If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be... Oh, really? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Okay, okay. No need... Here's half. You get the rest. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Was something we discussed unclear? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to... Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper.
Can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. I can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. Was something we did? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were... F You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sevjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Samyarn. I haven't heard even a scratch at the door. Have you done it? I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants... You're welcome to take a look around Savjorn's office. Here, this should help. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's... She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so... If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. I can't believe that worked.
If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. I trust you. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, you should bring this information to the... There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. No offense, but you're not looking so good. You feeling good? on this exactly now you're beginning to see how our little s maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there something then this is beyond coincidence someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between maven and the guild mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn enough and if i were you i'd hurry i've never seen him this angry before
There you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well-funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I can't believe Gollum is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only... If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gollum I, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Imp. Just keep on Gollumai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. If you discover Gollumai's holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Gullamai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to great. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources, so don't get their feathers in a ruffle. There are thieves. And then there is Gullam I. No honor, no code at all. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty.
Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive, but remind him who we are.
Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Uh, good. Can't it? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it. Not at all. I, as far as Golden Glow Estate go, I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, 
That's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. You again. We have nothing else to discuss. Now move. Got a lot of respect for the Restoration School. Skyrim could use a lot more healers.
someone there. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. supposed to be here. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Guards, trespasser! I'm warning you, back off. that.
Staying out of this. God, no.
no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, you'll have me killed. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about... Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe... I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. You're not supposed to be here. Careful! Am I give up any information on our buyer? No, it... 
This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never... Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered... After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every hike. I know her techniques, her skills. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that... We have to go out there before she dis... Yes, I'm go Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. If you need pickpocket training, just let me know. Get back and need see something? Me. If you ever need pickpocket training. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. My father told me he found me as a young boy. In the wreck, all he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone and no one does. I've even taken the... I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, but if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm actually... The fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it, because I appreciate that. Be seeing you. Back from a job, huh? Hope it went well. Maybe I'll see you around the gym. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. What do you need? Quickly, what do you want? She was a stubborn Dunmer, but she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than Gallus trusted her too much and let her get to If you want to call it that, yes. Me? Gallus would call her his little nightingale. Absolutely greed? Jealous? One thing's certain I intend to find. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Something I can help with, or do we just want to talk? So you're the new recruit, huh? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slug. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this... At the end of the day, you'll find that all... Good. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't... Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Okay, there you go. Out with it. Time is money. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make.
Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Until next time. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The El- Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specific- Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a Oh, yes. You and they say romance is dead. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in- The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding co- Now go. And give the city of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. 
Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Read your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as you... Look, I... Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I'll tell you what, that's where you come in. I've got plenty... All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. I handle... If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their... Your job will be to ch feel like doing a bit of writing. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Looking for work? Well, well. I was looking for this little... If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets, I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of your labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds tough. I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. Just talk to Vipper. He'll sh you already know all that I know. Be careful out there. We'll want to lose such a promising cup purse now, would we?
Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. I'm sorry. You're leading, and I'm fu- Just make certain you- The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Twenty- When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he other- before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my check. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision. The last to this day I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. Had your weapon at the ready. Certain Carlia knows. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. That should do it. You're quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. Set all of the traps. Be no other end. The 
This better be important.
This better be important. Must you keep stopping?
One of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. You know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. finds your heart give me a reason to try you're a clever girl Carlia. buying golden glow estate and funding haunting room meadery was inspired to ensure an enemy's defeat you must first undermine his allies it was the first lesson gallus taught us you always were a quick study not quick enough otherwise gallus would still be alive gallus had his wealth and he had you all he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer. Uh, Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simple before both of you arrived. I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect... I wish I knew. The journal... Enther. Gallus is... It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his... There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the thief. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal. 
Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Remember, speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. something. Carlia, then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? A problem? No, oh, this is just like Gallus. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning, Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy... The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind.
Good, I lost more than a few acquaintances to the Falmer, and I wish to see them avenged. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. You all right? You look like you might be sick. Then you were well informed. I am at this very... I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It's preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous... You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. I've already provided you a key to the museum. You should consider it an honor if you are allowed to browse my collection. I'm sorry, but that's as far as my generosity extends.
I need some help in here. Me.
God might get me. I don't want to be hurt again. You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. Was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expect... I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about... the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you must you can hasten find to Riften before college. Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far, so I see no. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lie. Everything that represents Nocturnals. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Noc. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think, given time, you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to try. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to... If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason... Was there something else? You might have to. <laughs>
You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right?
you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlyle, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Dallas's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Grin. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Bag of Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. Is it possible? Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the lock. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Why he ate? It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. The gold. It's yours. He's so good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, 
Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gal... Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tape. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make money? Was there anything else? Then I have an important... I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Vold to guard the... Be careful, lad. This is the last place. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Good question. I've only set foot... If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. No. It's some sort of crazy... I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. Huh. <laughs> That'd be Vault. A real piece of work that... Mercer's holding something over it. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well. If you catch my meaning. Better question would be... What? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could hide. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mer I don't have a clue. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else in that madman. I hope he turns up soon. He needs to answer for his... I hope he turns up soon. He needs to answer for his betrayal. Stabbed in a bank. It's like a if I see Frey, I'll pay. That pig. Oh, I have info on him. More... Vald? Good side? The only thing Vald understands is gold. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking... Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her... Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's Manor. I would.
I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. What in the name of Oblivion? Vald? Why would you want to help? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honrick. The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of... If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. The quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in ex... I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only... So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it... I had Vald meet the cap... The idiot got locked. He's too stupid to remember when... Vald said his rover. Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. I hey, believe we're don't done. look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it.
There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Let me know if you see anything you like. How do you feel? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Back anytime if you need a rent. You look right. I think I can teach you a thing or two. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. It's a fine day with you around.
No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? Got some good... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. The finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in life, Run. You're a little... Welcome to war. The finest weapons and armor. Good doing business with you. Have you met my father? He's a steward. I help my... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Hmm. Until next time. some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. When the Empire surrendered to the Altmeri Dominion, they shamed us all. Divine smile on you, friend. Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang of that. Got 
something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Every... Take a look. Do come back. back. What are you doing that for? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good battle. Let me know if you see anything you like. How do you feel? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content.
there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Remedies for ailments for common and common. Do what we know about the disease. on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Come back any time. If you need a... Buddy. Pardon me. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Good day. Is it? Dragons? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Every trinkets, odds and ends. Do come back.
Long life to you, Thane. When the Empire surrendered to the ordinary Dominion, they shamed us all.
That is one thing you don't ever want to see.
think I'm good. I think I'm good for today. So I'll see you next time.